Alrighty guys, welcome to some Slave Aspire. This is a roguelike card building game. It's pretty much easier to just show you what it is. We're in the uh, beta branch release of yesterday as I am playing this. Uh, we're going to play the Ironclad. There's two characters there at the moment, the Ironclad and the Silent. Let's do an Ironclad because it's a bit easier to show you what's going on. Uh, there has been a few other videos of this on my channel. Um, if you beat the boss, you do get Mr. Niao over here, who will give you a random thing each time. So we're going to play through. We're going to try and do something new to this, which is Ascension Runs. Now, the thing is with Ascension Runs, you first have to beat the final boss with this character before you can go on to the next Ascension and all that good stuff. So uh, we'll see how we go, but obviously don't expect too much. But I'm going to try and do a few more videos on this. Anyway, let's see what we want to pick. Now, definitely we don't want to lose our starting relic because that heals us for six at the end of each combat. And random boss relics can be pretty much anything. They can be terrible. Uh, max HP to remove two cards. There's no point in that because you'll see we don't have many cards to begin with. It does slim the deck so you get more card rotation, but not really worth it. Three random potions is good, but can be anything, but I think we'll just choose a card to obtain. Uh, none of these are really good. We'll take Rage and we'll try and go for a block build. Okay, um, that shop is way too early. The next one's over there, so we want to kind of go... Okay, we'll go combat, combat, question mark, combat, question mark, rest shop and then we'll work out from there where we want to go okay so this is actually one of the hardest enemies right off the bat uh so we'll bash to make him vulnerable and strike him as well so vulnerable takes 50 percent more damage from attacks for the tur the amount of turns of the status you played uh hmm He is doing 6, so it's block for 5, because we do heal for 6 at the end anyway. And then we'll just double strike, because that's we've already got 2 strikes anyway. And we want to kill him quicker, especially whilst he's vulnerable, because that's going to go away this turn. Uh, strike, strike, strike. Should kill you. There we go. And we healed back up to full. We got some gold, we got a card. Let's take flex. Flex is really good. I'm going to try and play faster, uh, there's a few other videos on my channel that explain the game a bit more than I am going to. Right, you're dealing 11, so we want to block, block, and then strike. Block for 10, take for 1. Again, we, we're healing the 6, so that should be fine. Hmm, we can only block for 5, so we may as well do that and bash to make you vulnerable for next turn. Okay, so there's a few minor changes in the beta branch as well. You may notice some things, you may not. Um, that'll give us four block if we play that with the bash. So just keep those vulnerable stacks up. Again, we should heal to fall as long as we can kill him pretty quickly. Right, he's not doing anything but buffing next turn, and he's dead. And we heal back up to full. Very nice poison. Regen potion, very nice. Um, I do want to go for a block build. I'm going to try. It's quite hard to enable if you don't get the cards you need. Yeah, let's see if we can find a relic. Jesus. That took a while. Mummified Hand is so powerful. As long as we have powers in our deck, which at the moment we don't, but it may become useful later on. Okay, these guys are pretty easy, especially these ones. Uh, this guy is not actually going to split, so it doesn't matter about interrupting him. Right, we are in a bit of a pickle, so let's play Rage. We can't... Well, we can kill you. And that'll get enough blocks basically counteract that as well. So that's probably the best way to play that. We lost a lot of damage from getting that relic, but it's still worth it, to be honest. 
Uh, there's no point playing the defend, but we'll play it anyway. So we don't conserve energy between turns. Okay. What we can do is defend, defend, body slam, because this deals... This deals damage equal to your current block. We have 10 block. We are weakened, so it's going to deal 9 instead of 10. So that's 9 damage. It's more than the bash, and it worked out better because we also block any incoming damage. So, very good to have body slam. Uh, we have lethal, so we don't need to worry about block. There we go. Healed a little bit. Um, Pommel Strike's nice for the card draw. There is something to be said about Heavy Blade, but right now we don't really have uh, sort of strength enablers. We have one, but yeah. I'm going to upgrade this because it makes it free. Especially if we want to sort of build around that. Uh, we don't need to rest, really. What's this? Let's draw two cards. Very nice. We'll take that. Uh, we don't really have much money for the shop, but the next one's really far away. I think we'll go combat and go this way. Where's the next elite if we do that? Hmm. Hmm. Let's go to the shop. You can always choose not to go, depending on what we pick up here. It's quite a good relic, we'll take that. There's nothing really good here, I want stuff that gives me block. We're going to go for the elite because we want more relics. Okay, so this guy starts off sleeping. Uh, he also has Metallicize which gains 8 block at the end of his turn. So it's going to take a bit to go through that. Probably better to make him vulnerable, even though we're going to deal less damage. It does wake him up. See, we already dealt 9 damage to face, but... Hmm. Maybe not the greatest. Let's flex, let's defend, defend. Body slam for 18, because it also applies our strength. And the vulnerable as well. So we're going to take 8 damage to face, but we did a lot of damage that turn. We did what? Like 30 odd damage. Which is very nice. Uh, pommel for the card draw, see if we can get some defense. And then throw up some defense. Again, we're going to take 8 damage. As long as we don't really drop below about half, we should be okay. Is this, this is just. Yeah, this is just this turn. If this was like a permanent power, it would be really good. So we may as well just bash and strike. That's fine. Because he's just gonna apply a debuff to us this turn. Okay, we are weak, uh, frail as well, or whatever. Well, he's decreased our decks, which means we block for less. Which is quite annoying. So we're going to take 10 damage. It takes us to half, which is a bit scary. We are going to heal as well from the end of this. Um, we don't have lethal unless we draw a strike. We still don't have lethal. We're in a bad place here. Because this is doing 5. We didn't draw what we needed. So we're going to take 14 damage here. Which is going to hurt. Just just simply bad draw. That's, that's all that happened there. We don't really need to do this, do we? Hey, it helped. Ice cream energy is now conserved between turns. It's quite good. Can be effective. Let's take... Eh in flame because I don't like the exhaust of True Grit even though we are sort of going through a block deck. Toxic Egg! 
Upon pickup, choose and upgrade a skill. What's this do? Makes it six. We'll go for the flex. The flex is really strong. Okay, we have to do this combat. Okay. If they're dealing 15, we can block for 15 and also deal 15 damage, just kill you outright. Although he may leave, so we want to kill him as quick as possible, because he does take your money and then leave in a few turns. But now all our damage can be focused on him. Ah, that was a power, so it also made defend free, which is very nice. So what we can do... We can hit him twice, or we can block for nine. I'm gonna block for nine. Because we're quite low anyway. Anything we can do to negate damage is probably for the best. Definitely pop the flex. And then... 14 applies vulnerable. And 18. Yeah, he's lethal next turn. We are going to take some damage. Hopefully we've got a rest coming up. Yeah, we do. As long as we don't encounter combat in this question mark, we should be okay. Let's just kill you out, right? Get all our money back. We just heal as well, don't forget. Oh, another regen potion is really nice. Seam red is so good. So is spot weakness. Uh, Go for strength. We've got some other strength synergies going on at the moment. I can't afford to lose health right now. Also means we can't really afford to go after the elite, so we're going to have to go for the other unknown. Okay, so... Defend, defend. That's 10. That kills you outright. Also, block in for that. Uh, this deals the most damage. Let's take that. Uh, I don't think it's going to last five turns, though. Yeah, it's not really worth it. Okay, he is not doing much this turn, so let's... Well, Inflame's permanent. That's permanent strength. This goes away at the end of a turn, but we're now it's 6. We get a free defend, but there's no point playing it. We'll play it anyway. I'm going to do in 12. We probably should have popped that regen potion last turn. We also can... Serve... Oh, we sh mm. Yeah, it doesn't matter if I'm playing the defend. That was free anyway, but we conserve energy, so we shouldn't play anything we don't need to. But now we have four energy for this turn. So I think I'll do a pommel to see what we draw into. I'll just hit you. We fall next turn regardless. Well, we could just draw a full hand of, um, of strikes, but it wasn't very likely. There we go. So building strength is very powerful, but it is quite a, a slow enabler. Trouble two wounds into your draw pile. Have you... I've never played with this, but we do have mummified hand. It is a power. We have a flex and an inflame, so I'm going to try messing around with this. It is awkward because you can't play wounds, but. It might be interesting. Right, we can block all the damage. We can't We can't kill any of them, because even if we hit for 12, they're going to curl up. So it's probably better to block all of it. I mean, all but one, but that's fine. Uh, these are too weak to probably use a regen potion on as well, which is annoying. I do want to use that at some point. I mean, the earlier you use it in a fight, obviously the better, but, you know. 
definitely flex. Pommel Strike is 14, so let's kill the strongest one. It doesn't negate damage, but that's probably worth it. Maybe. Maybe not. Come to think of it. Because we can't kill the one in the back, I don't think. Oh yeah, we might be able to. Yeah, we will. Okay. Now we're blocking the five. That's fine. That worked out well. Uh, in flame. That's not going to kill you. I mean, we can do that anyway. In, in flame being a power made strike free. It's a random thing what it makes free. Yeah, a random card in your hand. So it could be literally anything. Uh, headbutt's always nice to bring a card from your discard pile back on top of your draw pile. Is this... This is a fight before the boss. So... I think we just rest, just to play extra safe. Okay, slime boss. So, we want to interrupt his... Well, we want him to split, but we want him to split on his big attack, really. I could play Evolve. I think we just go all out. We're going to get healed at the end of this anyway. If we deal the most damage whilst, you know, whilst we can, whilst he's vulnerable, whilst he's doing weaker attacks, he does give us reduced card draw, which is annoying. Right, he's not doing anything. We can't spot weakness because he's not attacking. So we strike, strike, conserve the energy for next turn. Could also pop a regen potion, but I don't really need it, I don't think. Although that's very powerful turn. Let's... What's in our discard pile that we would want to draw into? I mean, a defend would be nice, you know? But we could go for spot weakness, because that's free strength, but the flex would also be nice. So that goes on top of our draw pile, but then using Pummel Strike, we then draw that. And we still have the energy to play. I'm going to pop this. And then he is interrupted now, because he's gone below 70%, so we're not taking any damage. And we conserve the one for next turn, we heal up as well. That was a good turn, using the headbutt the right way. Now they split for the full health of the last guy, so obviously you want to get him as low as possible, as early as possible. Okay, I can deal 12 to you. You're not quite below, so you are going to hit us for 6, which is a bit annoying. But we have basically healed 6 over the last 2 turns, so that's fine. You've made us frail, which is annoying. But you're not doing anything this turn. Let's do the draw first, see what we get. You're interrupted. And it's better to do strike, strike, strike. Let's get you as low as we can. So then you're going to split for two slimes worth two. Which is pointless really, but you know. So that's fine. Uh, we can spawn... Uh, it's flex. Let's think about this. I think you play... It's actually really awkward because it's so low. But it gets kind of annoying. Alright. I should probably just kill the 10 even though it is annoying. Bring back... Flex. Flex is just too powerful. You only do have it for one turn, but one turn's all you need, really. If you play your cards right. Quite literally. Yeah. 
And you don't need to rely on someone attacking as well, which is nice. Okay. Let's just kill you, negate all damage. Free flex or anything? No. Okay, that's fine. He's not quite interrupted, which is fine because he's going to just debuff us anyway. And then we can get two small ones. I'll just kill him outright next turn. Not really the hand I wanted, but sure. I'm just gonna deal five damage because of our strength and kill him. I deal self. It dealt. Yeah, it dealt seven because he was vulnerable. Is what I was trying to say. Reaper's okay. This kind of goes with our uh, thing, but we'll probably never use it. No one use potions. Sure, let's go with that. I never really use potions enough anyway. Okay, we're about 20 minutes in. Right, we're going to stop the video there and join it next time for the city. Which is very nice. It's a bit of a wavy map, but join us for that. Until next time, guys, as always, take care.